Okay, you guys remember how to do this? Maybe not. So, find the region that represents solutions to the linear systems of inequality. It's either A, B, C, D. What you have to do is just basically trial and error your way through A, B, C. Okay. So, Y greater than or equal to 3X minus 2. And then Y. So you just pick a point in region A. I'll go 1, 2, 3, up 1. So 3, 1. 3 for X, 1 for Y. So 1's Y and 3 is X. So we put one in, negative 1 in for Y and then 3 times 3 minus 2. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 2 is 7. Well that's not true. See, A is done. Can't do that. Okay, B, pick this point, and that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 for Y, okay? So I do the same thing, okay? So you put 7 for Y. And then 5 for x. 3 times 5 is 15. 7 greater than or equal to 13. Don't think so. B's done. Okay. So if it's not C, we're going to shade in D. Remember, it's got to work on both sides. If the first side doesn't work, there's no point in doing the second side. Okay. So C, I'll go here. Okay. So that would be negative 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then 6 for Y. So put a 6 for your Y, greater than or equal to, put a 1 in for your X, negative 1 in for X, excuse me. So negative 3 minus 2, that would be negative 5. So check, now you do the other equation, okay? So 6, 1 half, parentheses 1 plus 3. 1 half times 1 is 1 half, plus 3 is 3 and a half. That's not true. So x, so I guess it's d. problems I want to look at. These are where we're putting the answers. Hardcover books cost $3.50 more than paperbacks. $198 was collected from selling 20 hardcover books and 12 paperback books. Find how much each type of book cost. Okay, so you need to make a table. You can, the reason you need the nine box chart because you have three units. You got the dollars, the hardcover, and the paperbacks. So that's three accounted for units. So you put together how many units per unit and total. Okay, now hardcover and paperback are the two things you're buying. Then you put a dollar sign with total and a dollar sign with per unit, but not how many. So your money total is $198, so we're going to have an equation down there. Now look for non-money amounts, because that's how many. So um, you got 20 hardcover, you got 12 paperbacks, and then 20 plus 12 is 32. Don't put anything in there, okay? You don't need to. When you have this filled in and this filled in, you don't need anything there. Now the cost per unit, the only thing we know is the 350 more. That means you put plus 3.50 for hardcover. Okay, now what plus 3.50 don't know. So X. Don't put Y there. You when you know this is X plus 350, you can use X. Now put a parenthesis around that. So to find what goes here, you need to find the product of 20 and the expression X plus 3.50. Okay. It's the distributive property. So it's going to be 20x plus 70. And then 12 times x, that's just 12x. Okay. You just need one equation, that's all you need. Okay. So 20x plus 70 
plus 12x equals 198. Now you combine your x's are on the same side, so that would be 32x plus 70 equals 198. You minus 70, minus 70, that's 128. Divide by 32, divide by 32, x is 4. Okay. So what you do to get your two answers is you go into the x's and put 4 in. Okay, so four plus three dollars and fifty cents means the hard covers cost seven fifty, and then four for the paperbacks. Okay. Okay, at a football game, student tickets cost three dollars each. Adult tickets cost five dollars each. The school sold seven hundred tickets. They made a total of three thousand seventy-eight dollars. How many adult tickets? How many student tickets were sold? So again, you have three units here together. How many units per unit and total? So you got the student and the adult tickets, and then you got money total, money per unit. So the money total is three thousand and seventy-eight dollars. How many units? The only thing we know about how many units is seven hundred. Well, that's the amount together. Now you need to use x and y. Okay, it's not a more than. Okay, you don't need anything here. If I already know what goes here and what goes here, nothing needs to be placed there. Cost per unit, students are three, the adults are five. So this, these you take x times three, that's three x. And then y times five, which is five y. Okay, you have two equations now. If you have two variables, you need two equations. So I kind of like to make a cross here. So I line up x plus y equals 700, then three x plus 5y equals 3,078. Put your ones in front. You apply elimination. Okay. Elimination. Nothing adds to zero right now. And you don't have the same number, so you multiply by 3 on top, because that's what's there. And then 1 on bottom. So 3x plus 3y, 3 times 700 is 2,100, then the bottom remains the same. Now remember, you want to cancel out the x's. You have to make that negative. The rest of this goes negative, and you end up with negative 2y, and then negative 480. Negative 978, I wasn't even close, negative 978. Then I divide each side by negative 2, and Y is 489, okay? So you have 489 adult, okay? Now you can plug 489 into the equation, or you can just take 700 minus 489, okay? It's 211, because you know the remaining amounts your student tickets.